Hey guys, what's going on? If you're new here, welcome. My name is Brittany Nicole. I don't normally sound this stuffy or nasal. I'm getting a cold, but I was really excited to do this video and I couldn't wait any longer. So as you could see by the title, today we are doing a one brand full face tutorial minus the brows, which I already have on. Physicians Formula does not offer a nice brow product, so I didn't want to waste my money trying what they had when I knew I had something that could work. I used my BH pencil today. I'm keeping everything drugstore and affordable here because I've done quite a few tutorials lately that include kind of higher end eyeshadows or products, and I just want to take it back to the drugstore. When it comes down to it, I am a drugstore girl. I love getting affordable makeup. I would much rather shop at an Ulta than a Sephora because you can get those affordable products as well as the high-end products at Ulta and I just I I really like a good deal on makeup I love makeup I collect makeup so if I can get a good deal on it I'm going to so today we are going to be trying some old favorites Physicians Formula is not new to me I love their bronzer I use that in my makeup routine every single day I use their blushes as well beautiful beautiful formula and I have tried their foundation so those are some old favorites but I I did end up picking up a full face of new products here, so we are going to be trying lots of new Physicians Formula makeup. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, grab a snack, this will probably be a long one, and keep watching. So since this isn't like a full on tutorial, I'm not going to bring the camera in too close since we're not going to be doing like a lot of in-depth eye work. I'd rather have you guys see like the full picture. I hope that works out for you. So I wanted to address a couple of things here. As you could see, I'm a lot tanner than I normally am. Like I said, I've been sick. So like in my mind, I thought, okay, if you tan yourself at home, maybe you're going to feel better didn't work. I still feel sick, but at least I'm nice and tan right now. And then um, my dog has been with my parents because I've been so sick, so I got him back today and uh, he scratched my neck, so I have a couple good scratches. I call them love scratches because he was so excited to see me and they don't hurt or anything like that. It looks a lot worse than it is. I'm fine, but two elephants in the room. Just wanted to address those and we will get started. So. Again, I didn't pick up a Physicians Formula primer because nothing looked good. They had like a primer that went along with their like concealer, the InstaReady primer, but it just didn't look that great. So I'm not going to prime today. I did just moisturize and wash my face, so that is fine for me. Sometimes I'm just like, do primers even work? I don't know. I don't know. I think it provides like a good amount of hydration. So we're going to skip over that and go right into the foundation. Now, like I said in the beginning, the foundation is not new to me. I've tried this in the past and I like it. It's a nice light to medium coverage. It looks just like this and it is so pretty. This is the shade, I believe LW4, no, MW2. I don't know where I came up with LW4, but it comes with this doe foot applicator, which some people are super irritated by, but I'm not at all. But yeah, I really like this foundation. I really like it when I'm tan. I actually just picked up a more fair version, LN2, so like light neutral 2. I ordered it online, so I don't know if that's going to match me but I thought for my more fair days I would use that and honestly I didn't think I was going to tan today or yesterday actually but I did so yeah I'm just gonna go ahead and put this on I know how this applies I really like this foundation like I was saying it gives you like a nice kind of skin finish it's a little bit glowy and it just melts into your skin so nicely I really like it and I think it works really well if you do self tan at home I think this, if you self tan like I do with like a ultra dark color, this color really matches the undertone really nicely no matter what tan I use. I always do do kind of like an ultra dark tan and it always works out. So I'm just going to finish beauty blending this out. All right, so that's the foundation on. Like I said, I really like the finish of this. It's not the fullest coverage, but it's a really nice, healthy foundation. My skin looks radiant when I turn. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but like I'm a little bit glowy there, a little bit glowy on the cheek area, and I really like it. So if you're more into like a really full coverage foundation, you might not love this, but 
I really like it. I think it's a great everyday product. So I'm excited to try this next one since this is a new one. It's the Physicians Formula Full Coverage Concealer. And I didn't see any videos on this really. There were like a couple from a couple years ago. So I'm excited to see if I like it. I am really picky when it comes to my concealers because I'm so dry under my eyes. I have really fine lines that are really, really picky and pretty much crease no matter what. So I'm excited to try this. So here is what it looks like. The one video I did watch, the girl said it reminded her of MAC Studio Fix. I think that's what it was, which it's a very, very similar little glass container. And it comes with this mini little cutie sponge, which I probably won't use because, I mean, it's a nice size and everything. Maybe I should use it. Maybe I'll like spray it a little bit with some primer and we'll see how this works out. No, let's not do that. I, I just can feel even wetting it that it's not gonna be for me and I wouldn't normally use that. I'm gonna go with my Japanese sponge, which you can get this at Walmart and Walgreens, the W's now, which is so awesome because this is my absolute favorite sponge in the world. So it's got a little pump thing. I'm gonna pump a little onto the back of my hand. This might be too light for me because I ordered all this stuff not knowing I was gonna spray tan. This is taking forever as per usual. Oh, there we go. This is the color light, nope, this is the color medium actually. So maybe this will work. It looks like it's a very neutral undertone and I'm gonna apply it with this Tarte dual ended brush that I have just to kind of get it into the areas that I wanna get it in and then I'll blend it out with the sponge. Yeah, actually I think this might be a really good match. So let's just start on this side. Feels pretty thick. Blend it out really nicely. And I think this claims to be full coverage as well. So that's good. Just probably focusing on the mirror instead of my eyes as always. Whenever I hold a compact in front of my face, it always focuses on that, but you know. Okay, I actually really like that. I think that blends in really nicely. Hopefully it doesn't get too creasy. It seems like it is gonna get creasy because it's a little more on the thick side. But let me go ahead and do this eye and then we will set it with another Physicians Formula product. I think that actually looks pretty good. I can tell it's gonna get creasy. Like I said, most products do crease under my fine lines. So I'm gonna wanna set that soon. I did wanna mention both the foundation and the concealer have SPF in it. It's kind of weird that the concealer has SPF in that. You don't typically see that. Concealer has SPF 30 and foundation has SPF 20. So this might not be one that you're gonna wanna wear on a day that you're gonna be taking flash photography. Even the powder we're gonna use has SPF 30, right? SPF 30, that's right. The Physicians Formula Mineral Wear, this is what we're using. The reason I picked this up is because the Tayla raves about this for her under eyes, and I'm hoping that it works for me because I know she has really creasy under eyes as well, so I've been wanting to try this really, really bad. So we're gonna take this bad boy out. I do have another Physicians Formula product that I use to set my face that has a little bit of like a shimmer in it. Sometimes if I apply it too much on my forehead, my forehead looks way too like shimmery. So we're gonna try this one today. Um, so up close, that's what it looks like. This is the color Translucent, which honestly has a very beige color to it. So it's not very translucent if you ask me. I'd say this is more like a light beige color so I don't know why they call it translucent they did have another color that was actually called beige and it looked almost the same just a little more pinky so they might need to work on their color scheme there but let's go ahead and pat these out yeah it's definitely creasing a little bit on me and then I'm gonna go ahead and just set with this powder she uses a really dense like flat brush to set under. I'm just going to use a Real Techniques brush. There goes the brush in the container. All right, so that definitely added some coverage under my eyes. I now look like white under my eyes, which I am not a big fan of at all. I don't like a lighter under eye. So 
The other powder I have is the Youth Wear. This is the one that has a little bit of shimmer in it, but this is also pretty light. So maybe if I add a little bit of that to kind of... No, guys. Uh, uh, we might just be really, really light under our eyes. Maybe I'll just take a little bit of the bronzer and like work it up because this is just really, really, really light under my eyes. Not the kind of light that I like. That would be really nice though for when I'm, I'm looking at myself in the viewfinder and I can see how light my under eyes look and it looks not so good. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna take the other powder, the Youth Wear one, on a fluffy brush and just apply that all over the rest of my face. Hopefully once we apply bronzer, everything will kind of like look a little better because I feel like now my face is a little white, especially my under eyes. So speaking of, let's move on to bronzer. This is the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. This is the shade bronzer. I love this. I use this every day. Pretty much no matter what shade I am, this works for me. I do also have here the Physician's Formula Limited Edition Collection Palette in Medium Deep. So this has a blush, a bronzer, a highlight. One of the highlights fell out when I got this, unfortunately. And then it also had a little perfume that is kind of like a little kid smelling perfume, to be honest. Uh, but this is Deep Bronzer. So you know what? Maybe I'll actually go in with Deep Bronzer. Uh, just because I'm so like light right now under my eyes. Maybe that will help out. We'll see But I really really like this bronzer so pretty no matter what shade I am. I feel like I can Make the bronzer shade work. I think the deep bronzer is just a tad bit darker But I can really build the regular bronzer one up because sometimes it's hard to find the deep bronzer at the drugstore or wherever you are so I can really make the bronzer shade work no matter what but since I have this in front of me we'll go in with that I have yet to find a high-end bronzer that works the way this works I feel like it just melts into your skin so beautifully and even though it kind of looks like there's a little sheen to it in the pan you don't really see that on your face it's just a really really pretty color and then I'm just gonna kind of touch right there which I always do I just kind of like to intensify those areas and then you know what I'm gonna kind of take most of the product off on the back of my hand and just hope that that helps mm, it's okay <laughs> it's okay let's just get past the under eyes but that is the bronzer which is so beautiful i love it it's just the best bronzer in the world i feel like i would pick that bronzer over a high-end bronzer any day until i find a high-end bronzer that i really like but why switch if i like something so much you know what i mean so since we have this guy out let's go ahead and stick with it so i'm gonna take the blush in the palette which is vintage rouge one of my absolute favorite brush blushes such a pretty formula i absolutely love it it's stunning i had this in like a pan like this but it broke so be careful these break kind of easy because they're so soft and just beautiful so i'm going to take that and then we'll go into the highlight the other thing i really like about this blush is it's very very hard to go overboard even though it's nice and pigmented, I feel like you can't really apply too much. Like it doesn't build up super quickly and I'd much rather have a blush that you build up and can't go overboard because it's hard to take it away. So, oh, I love it. You barely even need a highlight with this blush because it's so pretty, but we're here for all the products. So I'm going to grab that highlight. I'm scared it might be um, a little too light for me right now with my bronzer on but we'll see what happens so go ahead and throw that on as well I mean these are so pigmented holy cow I mean whoa whoa this now you can go overboard real quick with oh by the way I have a, like a pimple on my lip because I've been blowing my nose so much 
So I know that's not aesthetically pleasing, but you know, it's life. I just want to like scoot in here for a second so you guys can see how healthy my skin looks with all of these products. I think it looks so good. I don't look super overdone. Mm. Looking in a close up mirror, my under eyes look like shit. Oh man, I hope you guys can see that. They look like for some reason you can only see it when I'm making my face go like that, but they look like shit really 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 cakey and really dry so not good I don't know if it was the powder that I set it with or just that concealer but I don't recommend that at all looks real bad but we're gonna move on and make it through the rest of the video so let's see I picked up the Physicians Formula Matte Collection Quad Eyeshadow so this is what it looks like which you're probably going to want to see it out of the container. This is what it looks like outside of the container. And honestly, their eyeshadow collection was not very good. Um, this was the best palette I could find because I know it would be one I would wear. Their other palettes, they had like some Insta Ready, like that whole brand thing palette. But like it was like all shimmers and they were all connected and it just looked not so great so I thought this would be like the only one I would really wear and I also thought I could maybe use it on my eyebrows but um no it's way too light and too red so I'm just gonna kind of pat out the concealer on my eyes and I'm gonna start with a mixture of these two shades right here so the white shade and then the kind of skin tone shade I'm going to try to set the concealer on my lids that looks like crap. <laughs> and I'm just using a Smith 235. So I think we're going to keep things pretty minimal as far as eyeshadow. And I'm not going to like walk you guys through everything I'm doing because this isn't an eyeshadow tutorial. So I'll just kind of fast forward through the eyes and you guys can kind of see how everything looks. All right, I'm calling it on the eyes, but honestly, I am not mad at that. I think that these shadows blended really, really well. You can't really build them up, and I wish I had a little bit of a darker brown for like the outer corner areas. I did take a little bit of the blush and threw that in the crease area just to tie everything together. That's a nice little trick to make your makeup tie together. Take your blush or your bronzer or both of them, throw them in the crease. So I did that, but I think this is a nice, cool toned brown palette. I like it. I think I'd actually travel with this because I wouldn't mind if this got destroyed. I think this was like $4.99. I'll list everything down below so you guys can go check everything out and see prices. But yeah, I'm not mad at this, but it it's hard to build up, but very, very easy to blend. My under eyes are even looking more crappy as this goes on. I feel like it's even cracking like down here, which never happens. I don't have fine lines here, so definite no on this concealer like I won't reach for this again which is unfortunate but let's move on to the next product so I picked up the glide on gel liner in black velvet the reason this is what it looks like <laughs> the reason I picked this up is because I don't have a lot of black liners that I really like so I'm in the market and I actually really needed this if I could figure out how to get it open Normally, I don't line my like lower and upper, so I'm going to try to just line the upper, and this is like a twisty, which isn't bad. So I'm going to line the upper waterline. It might transfer to the lower waterline, but that's my biggest issue, is the one I have right now from Lancome really kind of transfers to my lower lash line, and that really bothers me because oftentimes I'll put a nude liner in there, and it will end up just looking gray. Sorry if this is gross to some of you, but this is really black and went on really easy. 
So hopefully it doesn't transfer, but we'll see as we go through the video. So that's all for that. I almost picked up the liquid liner that they had because it's like a lash boost serum, but I really don't wear liquid liner with my hooded eyes like whatsoever. So again, I thought like I'm not going to pick things up that I wouldn't need or want to use. So I passed on that. But moving on to the next, we're going on to the Physician's Formula Curling Recurbent. I don't know what that means. Curling Recurbent basically their mascara so this one had a brush that kind of reminded me this is what i picked up i've always been curious about their mascaras this is like i think they marketed it as like organic or something like that um and it's a rubber brush head and it's kind of turned i'll show you when i open it and it kind of reminded me of the same brush head as the uh, maybelline lash sensational which is like my all-time favorite so this is what the lash head looks like um, and I just thought it would be a nice shape. I, of course, got Ultra Black. I think that's what it's called. Yeah, Ultra Black. So I'll go ahead and apply this and see how it goes. I usually don't love mascaras until they, like, sit for a week or so because I feel like once the oxygen hits it, it kind of dries it out a little and I like it a little bit better. I don't know if I'm the only person who feels that, but let's actually curl the lashes first and then throw this on. All right, so I feel like this is making my lashes look very feathery, but... um. It's not like extremely black, but it's kind of rare to find an extremely black liner. Like something like better than sex, like that's difficult. Uh, so this looks very natural, but it's very light. Like I don't feel like my lashes are weighed down at all. All right, that is two coats of the mascara and I mean, it it doesn't look bad, but I don't know if I'd grab for it again just because it took me two coats of like really, that was probably like six coats because I kept going in, but I did it once, let it dry a little bit, and then went in again, and I feel like it built up a little bit, but very natural, not one of those like, wow, your lashes are there and they're ready to party kind of mascaras, but I'm not mad at it, and I'm liking this eyeshadow more as I look down. So last product here is the healthy lip velvet finish this is in the color bear with me i'm actually really excited to try this because it seems like it's going to be a comfortable mat i comfortable comfortable mat i don't know why i just get that vibe when i look at it so I'm hoping it is because I pretty much got rid of all of my matte lipsticks because I just really, really don't like the way that they make my lips look. I'm going to wipe off like the foundation that's on my lips, but I don't like feeling uncomfortable on my lips, so that looks really good. I just don't like dry lips like at all. I constantly put on Aquaphor, so... I don't know, hopefully this works out well. This was on like major sale when I picked it up for like three bucks, so here goes nothing. Okay, I hate the applicator. It's very flimsy. It's very pigmented. That was one swipe, so that's good. I mean, that's a lot thicker than I thought it was gonna be, but I mean, that's just one coat. I literally dipped once on the bottom and once on the top, and that's pretty pigmented. There was a red shade that I debated getting, but I just picked up all of Lisa Eldridge's lipsticks, the velvet lipsticks that I'm so excited. I, I'm supposed to be getting them today, and if I am, I'm gonna do a video right after this if I get them, because I'm so excited. I love her so much, but I didn't think I needed another red because I already have reds and I just picked up those, which is why I wanted to go with kind of a nude shade. This is a little more pink than nude in my opinion. They had another nude shade. Maybe I should have picked that up. Um, I typically go for more of like a brownie nude, but I'm not mad at that. So let me just set my face. No, I didn't pick up their setting powder. It was part of that like Insta Ready setting powder setting spray because it was like dumb expensive and I'm pretty picky with my setting sprays as well. So again, keeping with drugstore, I'm just going to go ahead and set with the Catrice Dewing Glow Fixing Spray. This stuff is awesome. Again, a recommendation by the Taylor. I like her a lot. I've talked about her before. I'll link her down below as well since a couple of these products were inspired by her. So let me quickly set my face and then I will give you an overview of my initial thoughts of these products. 
All right, so I set my face. Hi, future Britney editing here. I don't know how I didn't realize this during the video, but my under eye mascara had totally transferred down, I think when I set with the Catrice setting spray. So I just wanted to give you guys a heads up. I realize this looks like complete shit and I definitely wouldn't set with a setting spray after I applied this mascara again. And this is what everything looks like. Honestly, I think it looks great right now. I think my skin looks really nice. It looks like skin. It doesn't look cakey. I don't look overdone. I think this is a really nice everyday kind of makeup routine. If you're not somebody who wants to like glam it up every day or if you are and you want to just kind of make it kind of natural, I think this would be a really good natural makeup routine. Couple things I don't like here. Obviously, the concealer, definitely not something I would grab for again. So cakey. Where is it? There it is. So cakey, so thick. Maybe I could try mixing this in with like an eye cream or something like that, but the eyes, under eyes look real bad right now. They're just really like cakey to a point that I don't think I've ever applied a concealer that looked this bad. I did like it at first. I thought it looked nice in full coverage as well for the most part, full coverage for the drugstore. But yeah, the cakiness, unfortunately, not my cup of tea. Maybe this would be a good one for like carving out the crease though. So I don't know. I'm gonna play with it a little bit more, but we'll see. That's not one I'd say you need to go out and get right now. The other thing that I had a hard time with was the mascara. I do think my lashes look nice, but it's very, very natural and it took a lot of building up. It's a very dry mascara, so I don't know. I, I, it's nice that it's organic. Maybe if you're like an all organic kind of gal or guy and you want to only use organic products, this would be nice. It feels so light in my hand. I feel like this is going to dry out in no, no time. Also, it says like CC on it, curl and care. I didn't think that it like curled my lashes at all. It made them look a little bit feathery, which was nice. I just wish I could get like a more intense feathery look out of it. And it doesn't look ultra black to me. It looks kind of like the black type of color you'd pick up from the drugstore. The eyeshadow, I'm kind of going in a weird order here, sorry. The eyeshadow I really do like. I just wish that this had a bit of a darker brown in it to really kind of round everything out. But they blended really nice. I mean, I think this looks really nice and natural for like an everyday type of thing. And like I said, I think I would travel with this. The lip, I like. It's actually comfortable since I only had to apply one swoop. It doesn't feel super dry or matte. And as of now, it's not like settling too heavy into my lines in my lips. I do have really, really liney lips in general, which is why mattes don't typically work for me so much. But not bad. Not bad for a matte lipstick. Don't know how it lasts. I'm going to have to see. But I think I might grab for this again. I wish it was a little bit more nude, but that's my fault for picking up that color. You guys already know I love the bronzer and the blush. I have obviously both options here. That highlight is super pretty too. Super intense. So if you don't love intense highlights, you might not love that. But all of these I will use daily. I totally forgot about the highlights. I've got to keep using that, but I love the bronzer. Only bronzer I use and I really like their blushes. So go out and buy those if anything. If you are looking for anything to buy in this video, these are definitely worth it. And they obviously sell the blushes and highlights separate like this as well. What else here? Okay, so the useful wear, the one that I usually use, I do like that. If you like a sh like sheeny kind of setting powder, like if you're dry, I think you would like the youthful wear. That's the one in the purple that's a little bit darker. I'm gonna have to see what I think about the translucent mineral, mineral wear. I don't know why I'm having such a hard time saying that. My under eyes look like crap, but I think that might have to do with the concealer and not this product. This was obviously way too light for me at this skin tone right now as well, so I'm gonna have to see how that works out, but oh, foundation, hello. Love the foundation. This is another one I'd say if you like drugstore, natural, glowy foundations, you will like this. This is so, so pretty. I love this. I hope that the lighter one, this is the light LN, LN3. I think I said I picked up LN2 in the beginning. This is the lighter that I picked up, so you can see the difference here. The lighter is a lot more neutral, and the darker is a bit more warm. 
I think that's what it looks like from what I could see in this lighting, but that tends to match my self tan. Like I said, the MW2 always matches my skin when I apply a dark self tan. So that is future Brittany editing here once again. I forgot to mention my final thoughts on the eyeliner. I really am enjoying the eyeliner. It lasts a long time. It's very black, minimal transfer, and super affordable. So I would suggest picking that up if you're in the market for a black eyeliner. This is it for this one. This has been a long video of trying new products, but I want to start to do this a little bit more. I know a lot of you love the drugstore just like me, and I think it's fun to do one brand video. So let me know if this video is helpful. Let me know, of course, if you have any questions below. Oh, I love to hang out in the comment section with you guys. Otherwise, if you're interested in seeing any more videos from me, please subscribe. It means the world to me, and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.